There is no right or wrong way to feel with ITP. You may have days when you're struggling to cope and other days when you are completely in control. However you feel, it can help to know that support is available and you don't have to face ITP alone. Many people find it very helpful to speak to others who are living with ITP as they can relate to their experiences and share tips on managing it. To speak to other people with ITP, you can look up whether there is a patient support group in your area or join an online discussion forum. Search online for the ITP Support Association. They feature lots of links for help and support with ITP and you can contact them for more information. You can also ask your doctor whether counsellors are available to support you with the emotional impact of your ITP. Many people have low moods or depression after diagnosis. It is important to remember that these feelings usually pass over time and there are many effective therapies to help you cope with them. Some people with ITP feel a sense of loss for the life they had before their diagnosis and describe experiencing stages of grief as they come to terms with their ITP. These feelings are normal and many people experience them. People have said that they feel denial and isolation in the beginning of their diagnosis. These feelings can turn to anger because they're frustrated with the diagnosis and don't want to be restricted. As the diagnosis sets in, some people feel depressed as they feel alone and are unable to talk to people close to them. However, once people gain an understanding about ITP, they can find ways to manage their symptoms and open up to people close to them they can then feel a sense of acceptance with their diagnosis. You may not go through each of the stages or experience them in this order, but it is important to remember that if you need to talk through these feelings, your healthcare team will be there to provide support and guidance. Want to learn more about ITP? Watch the rest of the videos in this series. Just visit the ITP Support Association website at itpsupport.org. For advice on personal medical matters or if you have questions or concerns, please consult your doctor or healthcare team.